What are we talking about today? Purpose. Success. Why are we here? What's going on guys? Today uh, we have a very special guest, uh, Robin Tran. He's a very good friend of ours. We've known him for quite some time. He's essentially filling in for Brent today because he couldn't make it. But no, actually, you know what? We wouldn't have all four of us here today. Yeah, we were gonna do all four. Yeah, yeah, we were gonna I was do hoping all... it'd be all four. <laughs> we were gonna do all right. four of us. Brent, we miss you wherever you are. We uh, miss you, but shouts to Brent. Brent toast, Brent toast. So, uh, Slayers. <laughs> So today we are going to talk about, um, you know, purpose and, you know, each def as an individual, what is the definition of a success and, you know, essentially the purpose in life. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of want to swing it this way to you, Robin, since you are, you know, new here. It's your first time showing up to post thought. Um, we want to get your first opinions first. You know, what is your definition and, you know, how do you go on about, uh, I guess, uh, translating success in your own version or whatever? Yeah. Um, well, first and foremost, like, dude, thanks for, for having me. Yeah, like, for sure. Dude. Being on a podcast. Is like, <laughs> That's a dream of yours. Check that on the bus. to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Shout out to my mom. Um, yeah, so, like, the, the, the reason why I even, like, thought about this, like, topic to begin with okay. is, like, I don't know, like, I've been, like, working full time for, like, almost three to four years now. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, after graduating, it's, like, life is just, just this, like, ambiguous thing that mm -hmm. is, like, really hard for, for people to navigate, right? Like, there's a Correct. lot of different approach yeah. approaches that you could... You yeah, because you, just, you never right? know what life throws at you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you know, as, as that process goes on, where you, you figure yourself, you find yourself, like, you won't find yourself, uh, you know, after high school or college or, you know, finding a career. You know what I mean? I feel like to find your identity, it has to be, like, a lifetime process. Yes, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's never essentially... Like a cutoff point, like, oh, you're 35, you're 40, you know what you want or right. what you want to do in life. You know what I mean? I mean, some people do that and some people find that, which is great, but a lot of us don't. So we're, we're out there in a the world lost. Always, mm -hmm. always learning. Life's, yeah. life's students. Um, <laughs> that is true. That so, is. yeah, I guess how, how would I define uh, purpose? Um, I think that what really drives purpose is, is really fulfillment, right? Okay. Like, like what, are you, what are you doing in life to, to bring fulfillment to maybe like yourself, uh, maybe you owe something to like your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna dive a little bit more into like oh, how definitely. purpose like, yeah. meshes in with Asian American culture. Exactly, especially the first gen American um, you know, culture. Uh, there's, there's some sort of stigma or some sort of uh, pressure towards I guess whether it's made up or not, or whether it's there, because we know it's there, because mm. we've experienced it. Yeah, um, sure. you, got, you guys may have a different opinion, mm. but with our experiences, you know, there is this pressure coming from uh, you know, our parents or um, society to exactly. like, status quo. Yeah. Right? So yeah. go ahead and elaborate so more on what salsa the person. Yeah. Um, so I guess like one of the things that um, i sort of been thinking about too is just like, when I was in, in high school or in college, my parents were like, you know, like, Robin, what do you want to do when you grow up? Like, mm -hmm. like what do you want to be? Uh, and, and at that point, you're, old you're, question. you're a kid, right? And yeah. like, you, you have no idea. Yeah. Uh, and, and the best thing you can do is like, oh, what is my mom doing? Like, yeah. what is my dad doing? Yeah. What is my uncle doing? Yeah. And in some ways, like, I, I went into my major because my uncle did it. Like, mm -hmm. bring your child to work day. I was like, this is sick. Like, I want to do this. Yeah. Like, without even really knowing that. Um, and then soon enough, like, as you have more life experiences as you start working in like that industry uh you're just like well maybe this isn't for me mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. then like the more exposure you get like I, I think it's really hard to figure out what your purpose is and like what you really want to do what your passion is what, what you're interested right. in okay. until you actually like touch that specific thing uh, you're yeah. actually in it you know what i mean right. you're actually within that field or within that career or within that direction that you want to head towards right and essentially what happens is that um, you know, you need to experience these things to know whether you like it or not. Exactly. You know, what I mean? it's, it's a very simple, but like, like you said, like you, you've had all these um, kind of these pressure or directions. You know, whether it's from your uncle, your mom, you know, your dad. Mm -hmm. You know, they've always had some sort of guideline towards uh, what success is. Because from your viewpoint, like your parents were successful, your uncle was successful. Mm -hmm. So it essentially, uh, you kind of use that as. Uh, a stepping stone, like a stepping like, stone yeah. or like like a format to follow. Right, right. So, well, what is the career that you're? Uh, you're yeah. On? So I I studied like my uncle does like 
he did like IT. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I studied like management information systems in college. Okay. I thought I wanted to get like super technical. Um, and then I ended up doing like a little bit of like sales operations, like right after I got out of uh -huh. college, like at LinkedIn. And mm. after experiencing that, name drop, like, LinkedIn, was yeah. Gucci. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and after that, I was like, you know what? Like, I want something a little bit more interactive. Right? Okay, I want to work with like customers. So I feel like I'm, I'm a pretty like social guy. Right? You're, uh, you're a pretty likable guy. guy. Like, you, you building want. relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah that like So yeah. Um, now I'm doing like implementation consulting work. Uh, okay. for like a. A very complicated name. In, I like it. In San Francisco, just dropping some some, so, some very dropping. complicated terms yeah. on us here. I mean, that's so. So, what is just a bit essentially like? What what is um, your your career entail? Yeah. So, whenever we get new like customers that want to work with our right. our company, if they purchase our product, like I have a preliminary like conversation with them to understand like why did they buy our product, mm -hmm. like how is it going to fit into their business, make sure there's no like um, objections or anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then like okay. figure out like how exactly we're going to design our, our solution to okay. like help them best meet that need. Yeah. Essentially. Sure. And then like launch okay. it to their company. Okay. So we, we let's, so. let's swing it back to kind of like uh, the main fo point here is, you know, what was the definition of success for you or purpose? Did you, were you able to find your purpose or right? I mean, obviously. It's, it's a long process, but as of now, do you feel comfortable when it comes to um, saying, hey, Robin, are, are, you, uh, are you okay for your situation or where you at right now? That is a good question. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that um, I, I would like to believe that I'm like pretty successful, yeah, yeah, yeah. successful in like how far I've come. Yeah. Um, is my day job, like the nine to five, 100% what I want to do for the rest of my life? Mm -hmm. Like right now, it's something that I'm comfortable with, something yeah. it, it, that brings me like, that that's sustainable. Yeah. Um, but what I would really love to do is like I don't know. You've taken the creative route in life. Yeah, so the, right. Um, and I think that there's always a, a very like fun element to that. Yeah. Um, so I think it's, it's, YouTube it's, uh, has always been like interesting. To yeah. Me. So this is it's yeah. essentially like expressing yourself or um, putting yourself out there as an individual and people. Um, you know, take it and they actually like it and consume your content. Mm -hmm. It's such a, like a good feeling because you know people are actually like you for what you are, right? Or what you exactly. Yeah. So uh, let's swing it back to Solomon. Um, what are you? What is essentially your purpose, or what? What do you? Are Are you happy? What are you? What are you successful? Nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Not, yes, yet. You are. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Um, I feel like success is directly derived from what your purpose is because mm -hmm. that's like the parameters of which you're going to say, oh, I am successful or I am not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, I feel like going through life, you find out, you find out shit that you don't want to do or you don't like. Mm -hmm. what you essentially, what you don't want. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's back, back to, to what, uh, what Robin was saying. Yeah. You need, it's a trial and error. Experience, Always you know, trial and error. In order for you but to it out. sometimes I do see purposes coming at you just like the apple hit Sir Isaac Newton on the head mm -hmm. saying, oh, guess what? Gravity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's <laughs> my purpose. what I'm saying. No, seriously. Because like, I, Damn feel apples. Like, I feel like you could actually find it as a child uh -huh. or you can find it later on. It just depends on how it clicks. When it happens. Yeah, when it happens. When it no, happens. no, for yeah. real. Yeah. Like, I mean, when, you, when the creative bug hit you. Exactly. I like exactly. There's no timeline, you know. Yeah. Um, we, when it happens, it just happens. Exactly. It's it's it's, it's so much more fulfilling too if it happens organically or naturally, mm -hmm. because uh, you're just like, oh, I didn't have to put myself into this situation in order for me to find, yeah. you know, this this happiness or right. this success. In life. I think it always does though. I think it, there's no there's no way. Uh, it doesn't happen organically, to mm -hmm. be honest. Yeah. It's gonna find its way, just like water cutting through a rock. It's mm -hmm. just gonna fucking happen. It, it also yeah, depends yeah. on like, maybe you understood like that you wanted to take this creative route mm -hmm. for a very, like, since you're at, since a very young yeah. age. Some people have a, a much harder time pulling themselves away from like the status quo and like, mm -hmm. you know, what their parents maybe want them to do. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and, and taking that route that, that, that is fulfilling to them. No, yeah, for sure. Um, so maybe you've broken. No, I was definitely, that. I was yeah. definitely very fortunate <clears throat> that um, you know I am in the situation or I am in the you know the place that I am now. Um, like you said, at a younger age, I knew that I had to follow art, and that was my passion. Um, so kind of back to Solomon, mm -hmm. what is you know what is the definition of your purpose or what is what is success to you? So my success is, <laughs> it's, it's, like I said, <laughs> tied to my purpose, which I'm not there yeah. yet. So I have a bachelor's in anthropology, but I want to go towards the medical field. Okay. Like I want to be a doctor. Hey. I'm on fucking time, so I'm just going to do the easiest family practice, whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what I want to do, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not successful yet. Mm -hmm. My purpose is to help people. 
Okay. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. Not there yet, though. Not no, at all. I, I will say that Solomon is a very, like, he's a deep thinker. Like, he, he's a thinker. 100%. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I have no doubt in my head that, like, you you know, like, because in, in order to define, like, what success is, like, mm-hmm. you kind of need to know what that purpose is. I think you were talking about that right. earlier. Like, I have no doubt in my head that you know what your purpose is. It's what just the end matter of, like, right. like so getting it's, there. It's, it's, you know, it's the it's whole um, execution of it. Oh, 100%. You know, it's, it's, it's That's the hardest two parts part. Thing. That's the hardest part, yeah. So finding passion and then executing is, is definitely a two parts deal. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, both <laughs> equally as hard or equally as hard to find or equally mm-hmm. as hard to do. Um, so let's kind of, uh, you know, go back more to the direction of, you know, what are social pressures or whether it's mm-hmm. coming from your parents or whether it's coming from, you know, an outside source. Um, what, what happened? Like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> So what, 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 what I, I tried to like play it off. He's like, he just had, he just had this like epiphany. <laughs> like, like, like I found my purpose. I yeah. just came. Um, <laughs> hello. Uh, oh, sorry. What are, <laughs> what, are um, <laughs> what are some of your uh, you know these these stresses or these outside mm. sources that mm. um, you know growing up um, you know the process of you finding your happiness or finding your purpose. So what are some of the things that uh, kind of I guess clouded. Or not clouded, but obstructed your vision. Yeah, influence. Yeah, yeah, influence your influence. vision. So, yeah. Robin, what are, what is? Oh, yeah. Oh, what is yeah, yeah. Um, so I will say that, like, even though when I was like in high school, uh, and in, actually like even very early on in my adolescence, mm-hmm. my parents would always ask me like, "What do you want to do?" I don't think they put any pressure on me to say like, "You need to be a doctor." Yeah, it's or, it's like, not it's not lawyer, it's not like a know? straight up good. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but there but some is, Asian parents do that. Yeah, like some some parents old, do yeah. that. Right? It's hardcore. Come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think they always like try planting seeds in my head uh-huh. of like you should start thinking about yeah, this. Very, you should start thinking about t- this. tons of options. That's yeah. parenting though, also, man, because you want your kids to be successful. So the question <laughs> is, and that's how anyone like it's your way how you do it to parent, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna want to do that. It's just how do you, how are you gonna yeah. do that? Yeah. How are you gonna implant this seed? Because essentially, your ch- your child in the beginning right. is a blank slate. Correct. You want to fucking have them have a successful slate at the end of life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I think the problem with that though was was they wanted me to start thinking about these things and they planted these seeds ahead in of my time. Head. Mm. But I, like I said earlier, like you really don't understand what it, what is out there until you actually experience. Exactly. It, right. So oh, as exactly. a kid, 100%. like you don't know, mm. like okay, like I want to start thinking about what I want to do, mm. but like where do I even begin? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's that's, like it's a hard question to answer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely is. Yeah. But going back to, to what you're saying, like what influences has, has kind of mm-hmm. maybe like led me to the, the, the path that I am. Um, I think I was fortunate enough that my parents didn't force me into a specific career, yeah. uh, but at least tried to coach me through like what to kind of think about. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say that the thing that maybe keeps me from like getting on YouTube or like being more of like building more of a presence on like social media and stuff yeah. is the, the fear of you know, like Rejection. judgment, right? Like yeah. that—that's always the, the biggest hurdle. <laughs> exactly, and I'm sure that's something you had. To no, do yeah, definitely. Too, right? As as like an artist or as an individual that's it's into you know being in kind of like a public eye. I mean, I'm, I'm not that popular, but you know, anyway, <laughs> anyway like, 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 like as papers, yeah, as as putting your art out there or as putting um you know your work out there, that's a part of you. You know what I mean, and if it's rejected or if it gets negative feedback, obviously, uh, it, no matter what you say, like oh, it doesn't hurt me or I sh- it shouldn't phase me, um, it just like beats on you like little by little. You know what I mean? It's yes. like small little Correct. nicks. Um, but and and as an artist, like we are, maybe I'm speaking for myself, but we are our, our worst critic. You know what I mean? Like oh, when somebody yeah, when somebody says something, you're just like wait. You know, you start to doubt yourself. Yeah. So in order for you to you know, become successful in, in like the art industry or anything like that. Like you have to be, you know, one thousand percent secure and and confident on yep. what you do. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, um, I, I, let me let me hard. let me go back mm-hmm. to what my definition of happiness is or success or purpose because oh, yeah, I never really talked. We never yeah. got to. We totally skipped that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, my definition of success or purpose mm-hmm. in life is um, essentially happiness. You know what I mean? If if you are happy um, on, on what you're doing and um, where you at, whether you know if, if you're not there yet and you're working towards it, if if you're just genuinely just true to yourself and you know you're just like okay, I'm I'm good, I'm secure, I, I'm happy where I am, and I'm working towards my goals. Mm. Um, that is the purpose 
that is purpose for me. That's success for me. Like it, um, if you're just genuinely not uh, caring or it doesn't, nothing phases you in like a negative way and you just keep positive positivity rolling. Like I, I feel like that is success. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it doesn't necessarily have to be a criteria or you don't need to make it a, like a standard or um, you know, reach a specific goal by a specific age. Um, you know, if as long as you're happy and you like what you're doing, you're successful. You know what I mean? I, that's, a, that's a good definition. Mm-hmm. And, and I will say that like, I think because you <clears throat> like enjoy what you do, yeah. like that there's a, there's a, a, a burning like passion behind that, mm-hmm. right? So it allows you to perform at a higher level. Because Correct. Of that. Yeah, oh, 100%, right? yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%, mm-hmm. yeah. So. Did you have anything to say with, with, uh, with what you were saying? Yeah. Well, actually, I kind of want to touch base with the whole thing. You were talking about uh, artists, right? Mm-hmm. You're putting a part of yourself out there. Correct. So being in the public eye a lot of times, it's, yeah. it's kind of rough. Yeah. You got to be secure in yourself, right? Mm-hmm. The way I see that is I, the way I see fighters, right? I'm a Trojan horse. You guys are like jiu-jitsu and MMA. Mm-hmm. But, uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Solomon would bring this out. Oh, yeah. Come on. You know, UFC reference fighting. No, uh, no comment no. down below if you want to see me and Solomon go at it, <laughs> go at it in jiu-jitsu. <laughs> I'm a guard player. <laughs> Probably break my arm. <laughs> I mean, no, you're going to cap, man. Anyway. But, um, no, because I always hear fighters are very, they say that, okay, a lot of them are very sensitive and emotional, which is weird because you think of them as tough guys, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they're literally putting their lives on the line every time they go out there, mm-hmm. right? It's kind of the same thing with what you're doing when you're putting your art out there. Yeah. Kind of, I mean, different fields, same idea. Yeah. Correct. So, like, every time you get, it's like... It's different variables. Yeah, yeah, you get a criticism, it's like actually getting punched in the face. Yeah. I mean, again, different, but there's parallels, which is pretty cool. I like that. Physical like pain that. or mental pain? Because it's real. Both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both. It's real. Yeah, yeah, So. So, yeah, um... So let's just swing Shout it back. Shout out to Ant for calling me while I'm on the podcast. Hey, Anthony? Anthony, you know Anthony? 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 Hey, what up? Anthony? Hey, what up? Hey, what's going on? So let's, let's go this way. So we, we are um, essentially all first generation Asians. Um, you know, like back to what you said, you, you were very fortunate enough that your parents wasn't, you know, didn't really um, have pressures or put any pressure on you. But mm-hmm. they put that in your mind that things need to get done in a specific way, but there wasn't really anything, um, you know, n- they weren't pushing hardcore that, hey, right. Robin, you need to be this by this time, or Robin, you need to pick a, a you have to have a career by this age. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so Solomon and I mm-hmm. are, you know, Filipino. Um, a lot of Filipinos, uh, you probably know this because you hang around with Filipinos, but a lot of our Filipino friends are Pretty much like, Filipino, like inside. Robin De La Cruz for he's all half, kinds of purposes. He's half Filipino, mentally. Um, and, uh, ethnically, he's <laughs> <but> culturally <laughs> Vietnamese and Filipino. Yeah. God, transracial, huh? So, um, yeah, so, and it's, so I, I know a lot of you guys can relate to, um, you guys know a lot of Filipino nurses, you know. Um, it's kind of like the profession that, that uh, dude. No, they fucking monopolize that. <laughs> so I, it kind of brings me back to kind of the same topic. Now is um, you know, at growing up, like you know, we I've had the pressure too of being like, oh, you need to be like a doctor, a profession, like mm-hmm. in the me- within the medical field because uh-huh. uh, it's it's stable uh, financially. You're in good terms. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you're able to achieve. Uh, you know. To live a comfortable life, practical help people. It's practical. Help people. It's, it's very it's practical, practical <clears throat> for sure. Mm. For sure. That's so, where it comes from, though. When they say that, just exactly. It's practical. practical. Yeah. So, do you think, um, you know, from you guys' opinion, do you think that way or that route um, is is healthy, or does it, you know, promote uh, individualism? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if if you're stuck within uh, like this mindset or this guide that you need to be this. Um, you know, does, do you guys like that, or do you? What do you, what do you think? It's like, is it? You go first, right? I, I I think the person needs to do some soul searching, right? Like, there's there's a there's a balance between like what you want, uh-huh. like what brings you happiness, uh-huh. like what you find fulfilling versus mm-hmm. like what your parents um, will be happy with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in some ways, because like our parents came from, you know, like shout third world countries, they came from like third world countries yeah. in order to and like. Shout their, out to our parents. Shouts, shouts to the par- we love parentals. Um, yeah. And they busted their ass when they got to America exactly. in order for us to have a better life, right? Yeah, so it's like more opportunities. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and and there's more of a pressure to um, to make all of their hard work, like hard work, mm-hmm. like pay off, not like not go us. to waste, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, in some ways, when I like, I don't know, when I got my jobs, like at college, like yeah. one, one of the first things that I thought about was like mom, dad, like. 
I made it. <laughs> I made I'm like, it. this is for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for sure. In some for ways, sure. it was sure. very fulfilling. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I did, I feel like I, um, I feel like I made them proud. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, so. and that's essentially what, what you want to do as a kid or as a child is to make your parents proud or make somebody proud. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's, it's such a fulfilling feeling to just have that backing. Like, oh, we're so proud of you. You know, all your hard work has paid off, but we're so happy but we're so happy for you, you know right. what I mean? Okay. But that doesn't necessarily define, you know, your happiness, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, I don't want to say, but like, did you really, did you, did you settle? You know, like, mm-hmm. did you really settle for that or did you really pursue things that you want to do? It's not, nothing for me to say because like I said, uh, happiness and success for me is, or purpose and success for me is happiness. So if you're happy at what you are or which field you're in, um, you know, that's great, you know what yeah. I mean? But. To answer your question, I think it's a balancing act. Yeah. Right? It's a balancing act like, um, is what my parents want me to do something mm-hmm. that I can find fulfilling and something yeah. I'm gonna be passionate about? Yeah. If so, then great. Then you great. check off yeah. two birds. For like, sure. You're not two, not got two birds with one stone. Right. Yeah. If not, then there's probably some like, you know, like some sort of a uh, clash. What right? everybody like, wants to do that make their parents proud. Yeah. There's this underlying thing that we all want to, we all want to do that. Exactly. Get it, get it, get it done. Yeah. You gotta check that box out before you fucking mm-hmm. kick the bucket. <laughs> See, you know what I mean? No, honestly. Yeah. Like if you guys never got that kind of stamp of approval deal, wouldn't that kind of hurt a little bit? Hit your soul a little no, bit. Definitely, right? definitely. There's you know tons of people out there that pursue something um, that you know their parents didn't want to pursue. Like mm-hmm. uh, a huge field would be art. You know what I mean? Right. Like yeah. especially in the Asian sure. communities, like a lot of Asians are very creative. Um, you know, if if they stray away from. Uh, what their parents see and what they actually want, you know, there's a huge conflict there. But, but my thoughts on that is that, you know, it goes back to, you know, my whole purpose is happiness, you know, right, right, right. whatever makes you happy. I hate to say it, but your parents aren't going to be there, you know, for your whole entire life, for your entirety of your life. And if you decide to follow a specific career that you uh, chose because your parent, you wanted to make your parents happy when they're gone at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Are you, right. are you really happy? You know what I mean? Like, just it, it takes away that that factor that uh, once they're not there, do you, as an individual, did I really follow? You know what I really wanted to do in life. At some point, your parents will see that you are successful uh-huh. and yeah. with whatever path that you've chosen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in that case, like they'll be happy for you. Exactly. No, it's exactly. Yeah. Like it's it's kind of like a you, you kind of grow and morph into um you know this this conclusion mm-hmm. of, of just like oh. Okay, since you know they're happy and I see that it's happy, uh, that they're happy and you know whatever they're doing makes them feel great, so I'm all for it. Right. Like, but like again, there's there's always like this hard conflict at the very beginning where it's just like I don't know, you know. There's the ifs, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, but hundred well, percent. But, but I mean, like there's like I said, we'll go back to like it's practicality that it uh-huh. comes from. They want to know that you're going to be okay, so that's yeah. why they put mm-hmm. you on this roof. Exactly. But there's also a negative connotation for people in our generation, like mm-hmm. our first generation people, right? Mm-hmm. There's the conflict is there because it's just like, well, why do you want me to do that? I'm not this model child. However, the fuck you want to see it. Like if you ever watched the debut, that's kind of what happened. <laughs> is that a Filipino movie? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess I'm not as Filipino as that. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, we'll watch it after this. Not I'll, I'll, I'll rent it on YouTube. For it. No worries. But um, there shouldn't be a stigma on that because it's mm-hmm. okay. Because I feel like. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it because people. Because like you guys know that somehow, some way, somehow, your purpose is gonna fucking find the way through it towards the end. Yeah, mm-hmm. you Same can point. follow that path, which ain't bad, right? Like look at Eddie Wong. Eddie Wong, he did all the schooling up to be a lawyer. He passed the bar. Yeah. But he's doing what he's doing now. Yeah. Super creative. Yeah. You know, can't take anything away from him. But exactly. he, he did that path though. But in the end, he did. But, but he, he, so he did that path. Yeah. Was it for himself or was it for his parents? It's it could have been a little bit of both. It could have been a little bit for his people. It could yeah. see <laughs> for his people. Hey, no, no, hey, 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 that's a fuck. That's yeah. a thing too. Yeah. Yeah. But but at the same time, like it's like there's something to fall back on too. Because I mean, not to rag on the creative field, right? But I mean, sometimes there's not a lot of money in the beginning, and <clears> no, it's hard. For it's sure. a fucking grind, yeah. man. It's a fucking grind. So having something to fall back on like that is not exactly that bad. Yeah. But you do need to be 100% into it if you're going to go for it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like with your clothing company, you have to be 100% into it. No, yeah, that's how you are. Yeah. And I mean, like, so we'll tell how it, like, using him as, like, a, I guess, a fucking example. Example, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. But, like, his starting point was being a lawyer. Correct. Right? So, like, oh, he was a lawyer to begin with? Yes, he yeah. passed the bar, oh, dude, in New wow. York. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, like, he did that, and afterwards, he's like, I like food. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then he went that route. He went 100% with it. So let's say he fucks up in that field or he doesn't want to grind it out for however long it is. He yeah, can go he back and do that. a lot of fallback on. You know what I'm saying? One of the things that popped into my head when you said uh, Eddie Huang, Eddie, Eddie, Huang, Eddie Huang, Eddie Huang, Eddie Huang, you know Sorry Mark. for <laughs> You know how to say it. You're like, no, I, you're like, like, I, I, I've like, seen that. Wait, did I say it wrong? Eddie Huang, if you're watching this video, I apologize. Wait, hold on. Before we proceed, did I say Huang? Did I say it wrong? Huang? Eddie, 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 Eddie Wong? Eddie Wong? Eddie Wong? Wong? I don't know. I don't even know his last name. Yeah. But All right. uh, I, one of the things that came to mind was, like, in some ways, like, he's making such a huge imprint on mm-hmm. just, like, I mean, the one, he's an artist, right? 100%. But two, he, he puts a huge emphasis on tying in, like, Asian culture with, oh, yeah. like, this, this theme of, like, hip hop. Like a representation. Yeah. yeah. So in some ways, he's, like, he's penetrating just, like, like Multiple. mainstream media mm-hmm. with um, kind of putting us on the map. Right. In, in some ways, yeah. and when you're doing something, when you have that 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 big of a, let's say like I know your platform, kind of figure. platform. Uh, mm-hmm. it's it's kind of like it's kind of like your life's work, uh, right? Which is cool to establish like this community for yeah. those who are gonna come pave the way, pave the way, yeah. trailblazer, yeah. pave the trailblazer. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? No, it's definitely. Which is which is which is crazy. Yeah, and that's amazing that he's doing that. Mm. So it could have been he did it for his people, but maybe he didn't know that he was doing it when he started it. Yeah, yeah. and this was just for him, yeah. because your purpose, your your passion is gonna find you just like how water. So would you, you say correlation and passion, or passion and purpose would have like a correlation? Hundred um, percent. Because essentially, your passion is your happiness, right? So what what you're essentially passionate about is 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 your views of um, you know what you want to do, right? I, I think you can use passion because mm-hmm. passion is just this this thing of like interest, right? Something that fuels you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you can use that passion to maybe like drive fulfillment in your life. Yeah. Mm. Therefore, mm. like because essentially what what you're passionate about. Yeah. I mean, you you will yeah. have to have you'll have to have some sort of uh, backing, whether it's talent, whether it's you know you know like skill towards you know that specific career. So obviously you're already like one up or you already have like a higher chance of um, success yeah. because you're gonna you, work that exactly much harder, yeah. exactly because you're, you're happy and it makes you happy you know what I mean it goes back down to happiness man if you're happy we're happy it's about we're your happiness, happiness. It's exactly about your happiness <laughs> yeah happy. so um, whatever that means <laughs> be happy uh, we're telling you um, so let's let's go back down to kind of um, you know, just let's, let's wrap this up. Like, mm. what are what are yours your final thoughts on um, success or purpose? Uh, you know, taken away from this conversation that we've already had, um, kind of to summarize things. Uh, you know, yeah. Um, your viewpoints on what purpose is and what success is. Um, mm. I already said mine. I mean, I was pretty straight up with it. Like, if you know, like at the very yeah, end of the day, you have to just you know be selfish. You know what I mean? Like. Um, don't take an account of anybody's like uh, position in your life. Mm. Um, you know, take the reins, take control, and just go for whatever you want to do. Uh, I, I know it's easier said than done, but you know, trust me. At the end of the day, uh, you, it'll be worth it. Before we get into like our, our final thoughts and oh, our takeaways, yeah, yeah. The, okay, bro, so come on, man, I'm just gonna end up. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna I'm waiting to get on the <laughs> podcast. I'm gonna milk every minute. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so, no, no, no. Be- hey, so hey, because because you've uh-huh. you know like surely taken the, the non traditional route in terms mm-hmm. of like your career, mm-hmm. um, how did you kind of navigate you know like getting your parents on board with 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 what you were trying to do? Because uh-huh. I'm sure that wasn't an easy feat, right? No, like definitely. that, in Ooh. addition to like handling. Maybe just some of just the learning things the haters, haters. Yeah. like yeah. Uh, the feedback. The doubters. Let's call it feedback yeah. from like the internet. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like how how did you like what was the overcome the, the, the roller coaster that you went through to to get to where you? So are. let's just give them context about you know what we're talking about. So um essentially I have a a brand a clothing brand and this is a plug so you could this is a plug about post brand too post thought post signature follow them on Instagram. <laughs> well, I'm here. Follow me on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) Post signature. Um, So back to Robin's question. Uh, You know, I I was very fortunate to have, um, you know, parents or a parent because she was a single mom. 
um, that essentially let my creativity flow. There was not really any pressures from her um, on what to be. She kind of just went with, oh, you know what you're doing in your life, and you know I can see the talent and I can see the passion in you. So I'm just gonna let you pursue because you know I trust your decisions. You know what I mean? Um, and as like <laughs> respect, mom, I love you. Love you, mom. Mom. <laughs> um, so. Uh, Back to like overcoming um, these obstacles, uh, and it was it was very hard. You know what I mean? Like like I said before, um, you know, as an individual, and I'm putting my art out there, and I'm putting um, you know my visions and my ideas, and getting negative feedback or getting haters. Mm -hmm. No one wants to be rejected. Doubters. Um, yeah. You know, it was it was it was definitely very difficult. Um, you know, once once you start doubting yourself, you start building this block of um, you know, something that you can't get over. You know what I mean? Like, so you're just like, okay, wait, maybe I am not, not qualified mm -hmm. to do this. Or maybe I am, you know, not able to do this because, you know, my work sucks or, mm -hmm. you know, there's, it's not getting enough love. Right. Um, it was, it was rough, dude. Like, uh, to, to be honest with you, like, I, 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 even, I'm not saying I'm super successful, but even where I am now, there's still times where I doubt myself, like whether or not I'm able to, um, you know, deliver on my promises or deliver on what people are expecting of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, I think the the thing that needs to happen is that um, I mentioned it in the very beginning. Like you need to be 100% secure. You know, you need you need to be confident within yourself. Mm -hmm. you, you need to be. Uh, you you know it's gonna happen. You know you know you're gonna fail in life and that's just part of it you know what i mean like the, being able to fail hey, is fucking a men is, is a learning lesson you know what i mean like yeah. if you fail a lot fail often is is you know that's it's, the way it's, to what, fucking do it what, you need that shit also to make it strong yeah to exactly. be honest because without that yeah you can't have confidence because you, you don't learning. know what adversity is exactly so yeah. ad exactly adversity um you know growth yeah. as a human being is is definitely a, a huge part of um, achieving your goals, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Like, don't be afraid to to, to try something new. You know, be a once once you become comfortable and once you become stagnant, that's when things start to fall apart. So don't be See, stagnant. That's that's what got me when you were like. Uh -huh. uh, to this day, I still feel like I doubt myself sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And that's like that's a, a natural part of the process. Right? Exactly, like, exactly. I would I would question you if you didn't think that. Because yeah. At, at that point, it's like, are you? He's full of himself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? So the, the, there's there, there's still a growth mindset that you're mm -hmm. like putting into it. Which is, I think, no, like it's, it's as a human is. as human beings, man, you're never gonna reach your full potential. That's I've already you know. Well, well already hold, had time out, time out. I think you can. I think. You oh, can. you're already out. Oh, oh you, no, you're no, already no, no, <laughs> no, full potential is <laughs> like growing, like mentally, physically. You know what I mean? I mean, yes and no, dude. Because I feel like yes, you can. Why can't yeah. you? What? Why it's can't potential you equal potential. Potential equal prime. Cause we, cause we all hit our prime at some point. Yeah. Right. Well, I guess. Well, prime physically, prime. actually, prime yes. Physically? Yes. 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 No. Yes. That's another yes. episode. No, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, anyways, uh, you know, like, like back to, you know, kind of the subject, like, you know, do you guys? Do you don't know? let any outside, don't let any outside forces or any outside pressures like or let them sway you or uh, move you to the direction that you know they want you to be, be what you want to be. Yeah. Let them do. Do you boo boo? Do you boo boo? Do you boo boo? Let them come at you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your final? What are you guys' final thoughts? Um, punch base. I guess like just what? through like my whole like journey of like mm -hmm. finding like purpose and like what I've what I want to do in life and stuff. Yeah. I will say that you know your purpose is always it, it's going to mean different things to you at different points in your life. Exactly. So yeah. it, it, it's always gonna shift, right? Yeah, like I could be sure. so invested into something right now. You could be so invested into yeah. something right now. Uh -huh. But at some point, like, there are other things that might become like more influential, um, or like influential to yeah. you, right? So like the apple, um, the Newton, mm -hmm. hit him yeah, in the head. Exactly. It'll hit you. Gravity. And things are your things are always gonna change. So be okay with that ambiguity and mm -hmm. like just yeah. Like, so you, like you brought up a great point. You know what I mean? Like don't don't be so secure. You know what I mean? Have an open mind and experience new things because that's when you essentially, um, you know, find happiness is mm -hmm. when you're experiencing things and then you're just like, wait a minute, I do like doing this. Maybe I should go that way. Yeah. I was like, try oh, it out. I'm on there. Try it out. Maybe I do like doing this. Just try everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't, don't be closed-minded. Don't uh, 
follow a routine, you know, always promote growth as a human being. It's just, it's touch everything. Actually, that sounds wrong. No, no, you're right. <laughs> touch it all. Don't touch, <laughs> touch it all. <laughs> what are your final thoughts on? Be close-minded. Be close-minded? 100%. 100%. Be in a bubble. Be in a bubble, and lock and yourself in your room. Chill there. And just, just don't go outside. Yeah, just no. Like <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, so, think, I think it's a balance between being closed minded and uh-huh. open minded. Yeah. Because, like you say, you have to be secure with yourself, mm-hmm. secure with your path. But once you find it, fucking be secure with that. Don't let everything pull you in a different direction. Like, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Oh. Yes. So, you're like contradicting what Robin said? Yes. No. no. Am I? No, I'm not. Because in a way, because I'm just like, be yeah. secure in your path. Like, once you find it, be secure in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. you can like this and like this, but it's just like, can you do that for five years? Like, I like this and I like this. You know what I'm saying? I think what you're saying is, co- no matter what you're doing, just commit to it. Commit. Commit, commit to it. Commit, commit and commit. conquer. Commit to exactly. it. Exactly. Commit. Commit and conquer. Even if it shifts, like, just, just, just go for it. 100. 100. 100. 110. 110. 110. Balls deep in it. Mm-hmm. All the way deep. Yeah. Mentally. Yeah. <laughs> Mentally, balls Mentally. deep in it. But no, but for real though, <laughs> yes. All of that plus one. Mix yeah. Mixing with some Twix. Yeah, so, um, you know, I just want to say thanks to Robin for uh, coming through and sliding through and giving me, us dude. your, um, your th- post thoughts. Um, yes, thank you, you can Robin. find his Instagram right here. Go like this, Robin. You can find his Instagram right here. Come on, Solomon, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, so you can find bad. his Instagram here. Ding. And then Solomon's Instagram here. No, don't follow me. And then me. my Instagram here. Um, then again, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment on what um, topic you guys want to have us. Yeah. Talk about man. next. You guys aren't doing that, man. Just leave comments, man. We're only on episode hey, four. We're judge you. Yeah. We're running out of ideas. Or just <laughs> say you hate this <laughs> podcast. Not watch the video. Not watch what? Oh, okay. So um, yeah. So that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thank you guys for um, staying till the very end. Uh, this one might be a little long. I know there's some feedback back then, like oh your podcast is uh, seem a little long, but that's a podcast, guys. Have we really gotten that feedback? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, appreciate the feedback. <laughs> appreciate the feedback. Appreciate the feedback. As Brett Slaria yeah. would say, F Max. Hey, I don't um, even F-backs. think that guy actually F-backs. watched the whole thing. F-backs. F-backs. Hey, hold on. I don't think that guy actually watched the whole thing if he's complaining about the time. Huh? I don't think that guy watched the whole thing if he complained about the time. Yeah. He probably just took the true. number and his whole <laughs> Well, anyways, Long. we appreciate you guys. Sarang hey! As Robin would say. I know. Alright. Peace. Peace. Peace.